Hi, I'm Tyler, a guide here at Monterey State Historic Park, and today I'm going to tell you a story about two Larkins, a grandfather, a granddaughter, and the building that connects them. Behind me is Larkin House. It was located on Cali Principal, which was the main street of the capital city in what was Mexican California at that time. Larkin was an American, so what was he doing in the Mexican capital city of California? Well, he had received a letter from his half-brother John Rogers Cooper, inviting him to come work with him at his business here in Monterey. Being a single guy with no wife and no kids, as well as little money, he jumps at the opportunity to come out to California. After seven months at sea, Larkin and his future wife arrive here in Monterey. After working in his half-brother's shop long enough to earn his own money, Larkin decides to open up his own business. So in 1835, he decides to build Larkin House behind me. When this building is originally done, the whole first floor is going to be dedicated to Larkin's business. It's going to be his store and his storeroom. The second floor is going to be the residential area for him and his new wife. Larkin House is the first two-story residence in Monterey and one of the oldest examples of Monterey colonial style. Creators of the style were immigrants from the eastern United States, like Larkin. These buildings are characterized by being two stories, having surrounding porches, and a hip roof. Also, they're made out of adobe, which would have been the common building product in Mexican California at the time. Larkin builds this house in 1835, and almost 100 years later in 1922, his granddaughter, Alice Larkin Toolman, would buy this building. She'd never been inside of it before, but her father, Larkin's youngest son, was born in this building, and the family connection, as well as the thought that she could have a summer getaway from her home in Santa Barbara, as well as the place she could store her art collection, her antique furniture, and her first edition books, was enough to make her want to purchase this building. She met her husband, Harry Toolman, while vacationing alone in Egypt. Thanks to her father and grandfather, Alice was independently wealthy, and so was Harry. Together, her and Harry raised show dogs, horses, and lived in Santa Barbara on a ranch. For Alice Toolman, the house was a connection to long-gone family. Served as a summer getaway, a location to house her private collection of art and furniture, as well as a location to hold amazing parties. When the house is originally built, this room served as Thomas's shop, where he sold a range of items from dry goods all the way to building materials. There's also some pieces from his shop still in this building. We have hooks above me where you would hang product or have scales to weigh things out. And then in the front and back of the room, we have trap doors that you can still see till this day. Also in here, we have a couple original paintings of Thomas and Rachel Larkin. These paintings of Thomas and Rachel Larkin were done by the distinguished painter Stephen William Shaw. They were painted later in Rachel's life after Thomas had already passed away. Amazingly, Thomas's portrait is based off a small image of himself inside Rachel's brooch. She's wearing this brooch in her portrait. Today the room is set up as if we were getting ready for one of Alice's dinner parties. These pieces are from Alice's personal collection. The utensils are silver, the plates are Chinese exports, and the dessertware are hand-blown Venetian glass with golden rims. This imposing bookcase sits directly next to the table. This beautiful 18th century piece houses trinkets from Alice's travels, as well as some of her first edition books, including Steinbeck novels and poems by Robinson Jeffers. This would all serve as conversational pieces. We're now in the safe room which is probably the best representation of Thomas Larkin in the entire house. We call it the safe room because of the safe we have on the wall to my right. Thomas Larkin likely had this safe installed for his shop that he operated in what is today the dining room. The safe is located directly behind the fireplace, giving it a sturdy brick back for extra security. In 1843, Thomas Larkin is appointed the first and last U.S. Consul to Mexican California, this safe would have proven useful to store official papers and sensitive correspondence. His position as consul allowed him to play a pivotal role in the peaceful transfer of Monterey to American forces in July of 1846. We are now in the room that would eventually become Alice's Sala. When the building's originally being constructed by Thomas Larkin in 1835, this room served multiple purposes, including a living area, until the second floor was completed where he would then move upstairs with his family. Under Alice, this serves as a sitting room where in between dinner and drinks, her and her guests could use this as a social gathering area. One of the best pieces of original artwork that we have in this room is going to be our painting of Rachel Larkin done by Joseph Knapp. 
This painting was done when Rachel was still alive and originally featured a deep V on her blouse. Later, Alice has this photo edited to raise the blouse up and also add her family brooch, which we still have in our collection till this day. Alice and Thomas Larkin lived very different lives. While Alice traveled the world, Larkin stayed in Monterey working for the U.S. government. Larkin had many kids. Alice and Harry had show dogs. But when Alice is growing older, she decides to think about her family legacy. And in 1958, decides to donate this building to the state of California and have it turned into a museum and have her art, her furniture, and all the other pieces she collects over the years displayed and saved throughout the years for everyone to be able to see. Then in 1963, the United States recognizes this building as a national landmark. And even when she donates this building, Alice doesn't just go back to Santa Barbara and live out her life with her husband. She stays on as a committee member to make sure that this building was taken care of the way that she knew it needed to be. Thank you for watching our tour of Larkin House. For up-to-date parks info, check out our website at parks.ca.gov. And for more content from us, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube page at Monterey State Historic Park. Thanks.